Come on, man. That's how old that brain is off. Somebody say this. This one day. God, pray with me. Just a little while. Let us pray. Precious Lord, you come before me at this hour. Standing in this consecrated place to say a word in your behalf. Pray, Father God, that be a word that will encourage them. Give somebody hope and strength to make it through this week. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted. And I cry to the Lord, my rock yes. and my relief. Let the church say, Amen. 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 The dog that brings the bone. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. Traveling through towns and villages, teaching and preaching. And while Jesus was talking to the crowd, there were some Pharisees who came and said to him, Get away from here, for Herod wants to kill you. Here in our text, the Pharisees came to Jesus with some friendly advice. They told Jesus to get out of town because his life was in danger. King Herod wanted to kill him. The Pharisees did not always get along with Jesus. Jesus was very hard on them from time to time. Jesus said to them one day, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees. You are hypocrites. You are clean on the outside, but you need to wash the inside. You appear righteous to men on the outside, but on the inside you were full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. John the Baptist called them brood of vice. The Pharisees were also hard on Jesus, criticizing him for working on the Sabbath, hanging around with tax collectors and prostitutes. They accused him of blasphemy on many occasions. The Pharisees were the religious leader of Jesus' day. They emphasized strict and detailed conformity with the law and tradition. They would often come out to hear Jesus and go back to the high priest of Herod and tell what Jesus was doing. But here in our text, the Pharisees are being nice to Jesus, warning him about Herod's plan to kill him. The Pharisees are bringing Jesus news that they got from Herod of someone close to Herod. Yes. Jesus knew that the Pharisees were going back to Herod to tell what he would do. Yes. The Pharisees came to Jesus and said, get away from him. For Herod wants to kill him. Some of you might think that the Pharisees were being nice to Jesus by giving him this news. But Jesus knew that the dog that bring the bone would carry one back. Yes. That is why Jesus gave the Pharisees something to take back to him. Jesus said, go tell that fox. Behold, I cast out demons and perform cures today and tomorrow. In the third day, I finish my course. When I was much younger, I loved to look at the cowboy movies on the television. The bad guy would have someone bring the good guy a message that said, be out of town by sundown, mm -hmm. or we're going to gun you down. Mm -hmm. The good guy, if he had the backbone, was sending the message back saying, I'm not going anywhere until I finish my business here in town. And here in our text, that is what Jesus is saying. He said, I'm going to be here today and tomorrow and the third day until I finish my course. I'm going to stay here until my work is done. I'm going to stay here and do my father's business. I'm going to stay here and preach the word. I'm going to stay here and heal the sick. I'm going to stay here and perform miracles. Jesus said, go tell that father. Behold, I cast out demons. Perform cures today and tomorrow and the third day. I finish. My course. The Pharisees who came to warn Jesus of Herod's intentions posed as friends. But 
they might have guessed that Jesus would be suspicious of them. He knew that they were working for him. Jesus knew that the dog that brings the bone would take one day. <laughs> the Pharisees posed as friends, for they were really dogs bringing Jesus a bone. The Pharisees were good at the tent, pretending to be friends, pretending to be so religious, pretending to be do-gooders, pretending to be helpful and bringing news. For the dog that brings the bone will take one day. Now this phrase refers to those people who always come to you with that little friendly advice. The people always come to you carrying news. The people who know how to handle your business better than you can. Just like Pharisees, they will come to you acting friendly. They will even give you some news or information. They will tell you the dirt on everybody else, yet just to get you to open up to them. Amen. They will tell you what so-and-so said about you. And you better believe if you say anything about so-and-so, the word will get back to them. Amen. Because the dog that brings the bone will take one back. Amen. These Pharisees came to Jesus pretending to be in good faith. But Jesus knew better. Jesus knew that the Pharisees believed that they were better than the other Jews because they were educated and well mannered. They would go into the temple and pray out loud for a long time. Mm -hmm. They were setting judgment of their fellow Jewish brothers and sisters. They bragged about how much money they paid or how good they were this week. Church, we have Pharisees right here in this church. These are the people who feel that they are better than other men because of the position they hold in the church. They feel better because they sang on the choir. Mm -hmm. They feel better because they have special responsibilities in the church. These are the church those who pray the long prayer. These are the people who like to hear their names called out in church, letting everybody know how much money they pay. Mm -hmm. These are the people who at offering time will walk from the back of the church holding up $10 high over their head. Right. Once they get to the table, they will yell out, I'm paying $10. These are the people who always have to stand up and say something in church just before the benediction. Mm -hmm. Just like Pharisees, they pretend to be all loving, all merciful, all humane. They will pretend to be so holy and sanctified. They will pretend to have so much religion. They will pretend to know so much about the Bible and don't know a thing. They will pretend to be your friend, coming up to your face, bringing you news, telling you about the quiet numbers, telling you about the pressure, telling you about the pressure, telling you about everybody in the church. I want you to know this morning. That the dog that brings the bones. We'll take one of them. Luke chapter 13, verse 31 says, At that very hour, some Pharisees came and said, Get away from him, for have want to kill him. We see here in our text that the Pharisees are telling Jesus that Herod wants to kill him. Church, we know that Jesus is the Son of God. He has all power in his hands. He can defend and he will destroy. Mm -hmm. We know that Jesus' power is not limited. We know that Jesus knows all things. Mm -hmm. There is nothing that we can tell Jesus that he doesn't already know. Mm -hmm. We know all about it. Yeah. We can pray and tell Jesus about our trouble, but he knows all about it. Yeah. We can tell him about our trials and tribulations. But he knows all about it. We can tell him about our dangerous cause of snare. But church, he knows all about it. And him writer tells us, I know my heavenly father knows the stone that would my way and food. And he can drive the clouds away and turn my darkness into this. I know my heavenly father knows the bomb I need to soothe my woes. And with his touch of love divine. 